So here's a small technique you can use guys on a oscilloscope if you're dealing with a scope that has a relatively small memory buffer. Um, this is a little technique you can use in order to enhance the ability of the scope to actually capture some detail and hold it indefinitely, right? So back in the day when scopes were CRTs, um, the persistence uh, adjustment was um, pretty commonplace, but not so much on newer scopes, but some still do have it, right? In the case of the uh, Hantec T0-1000 series scopes, um, you can see there is in fact uh, a persistence function. And I have it set for infinite at the moment, and I'll show you the point to that. So my setup here is actually just simulating monitoring a 5 volt reference. In fact, this could be set up for all night long, guys, right? This could run all night long. The buff memory buffer on this is is pretty poor, it's pretty short term uh, that you can actually review. But if you use the persistence function, what it will do is will hold a dropout, for example, or a spike if you're monitoring for spikes uh, indefinitely. So you could come back and review it in the morning, for example, right? Um, so let me just uh, simulate a dropout of the five volt reference here, just simply by taking the banana plug off the power supply. And you can see there, the scope is actually holding it. Now this is, this is set up for a 200 millisecond time base. It's a 14 by eight graticule. So it's refreshing every, uh, the entire screen should be refreshing every, uh, let me do the math, 2.8 seconds, I guess it is. But the dropout there will hold, and anything else, any other variations for that matter, will hold indefinitely because the persistence is set up for infinite. So I hope that makes sense. Again, kind of a, a workaround for a scope with a limited memory capacity but it has to have the persistence function available in order to use this technique. That's it, boys. Cheers.